What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about Ethereum, the upcoming 2.0 update, and what my investment strategy will be during this bear market. As you continue to face the bear market, crypto dollars are forced to switch up their investing strategies. I personally have reduced the number of protocols I'm getting into and focusing on a shorter list of long-term moves. I'm mainly using a strategy called dollar cost averaging, which I cover in this video in case you haven't seen it already. After revealing some of my top investments for this bear market in that video, I got comments and messages about why Ethereum isn't on my list and to be honest I wasn't able to cover every coin in just one video and simply provided a snapshot of my investments. The fact is that Ethereum is one of the platforms I've been following closely and dollar cost averaging along with other crypto assets including Bitcoin. In this video, I'll be touching on the price of Ethereum and addressing the huge upcoming merge event. I'll also go over what I think about Ethereum and its future and what this could mean for investors. Before we get down to business, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Summer and I'd like to welcome you to Fire Hustle, where it's my mission to tell you everything you need to know about crypto in the shortest amount of time possible. If you want to help this video reach a wider audience, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can take advantage of all the work I've done. It really helps the channel and I'd also really appreciate it. And remember, the crypto space has a high level of risk and none of this is financial advice. My videos are a great starting point, but I definitely recommend you do your own research before deciding to invest. So let's talk about Ethereum. To assess the crypto market, investors like myself often use the price chart of Bitcoin, which has the largest market cap of all the currencies out there. Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency in terms of market cap and its overall price action closely resembles that of Bitcoin. If we take a look at the price chart, there was a strong positive movement near the end of 2020 and going into 2021, around the time Bitcoin exploded. This led to Ethereum hitting its all-time high of almost $4,900 in November of 2021. Around the same time, Bitcoin peaked at around $68,000 and from this point on, the price descended slowly until a dramatic drop this month, dipping below $900 on June 18th. And since then, we've seen a slight upward trend with the price of Ethereum currently sitting a bit over $1,200. Now, it's hard to say for sure whether this is the beginning of a price recovery or just a slight bump before the bear market continues to decline. The fact is, the last crypto bear market lasted around two and a half years, so it's possible that we'll continue to see new lows for Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the entire market. Despite market conditions, Ethereum is continuing to take strides, expand its ecosystem to bring more to its investors. One of the most anticipated developments for the project is the upgrade to Ethereum 2.0, which is now referred to as the merge. This upgrade has been in development for some time now and will still require some patience from investors before it's fully implemented. So what's the merge? It's essentially the migration of a new and improved version of the original Ethereum blockchain. Currently, the Ethereum blockchain runs on a proof of work system to verify transactions. The power coming from physical computers is what's needed to validate blocks of transactions, so users lend their computing power through their mining rig and in return get rewarded with crypto. But there are some major downsides to the proof of work mechanism. Mining demands a ton of computing power and with that comes an enormous amount of energy being consumed. This is both environmentally unfriendly and can get pretty expensive for miners. Not to mention, different users that are mining at the same time are in competition with each other and miners working with a strict budget are at a severe disadvantage when competing with users that can't afford expensive hardcore mining rigs. The merge will eliminate proof of work and instead will use the proof of stake mechanism to validate transaction blocks. And proof of stake solves the major problem seen with the proof of work system. For starters, there is no mining rig or expensive computing equipment required to perform verifications. Instead, users stake their crypto into the network and lock in their funds to become a validator. Transactions are then verified by validators before they send to the blockchain and in exchange, a reward is sent to the validator. This method unlocks a whole new level of scalability and security for a network. By eliminating the need for expensive equipment, more users are able to participate in transaction verification. And the fact that this mechanism is network accessible means easier access for more users and higher scalability as a result. When it comes to blockchain environments, a higher number of users also strengthens network security. So why is it called the merge? This update event is called the merge because there will be a merging of the Ethereum mainnet and something called the beacon chain. The beacon chain is a separate blockchain that exists in parallel with the original Ethereum blockchain. It was created back in December of 2020 for the purpose of testing a proof of stake system, which would eventually be adopted by the Ethereum mainnet. The beacon chain allows users to stake ETH 
in order to become a validator on the network and earn rewards. However, this network operates independent of the main net, which means none of the transactions from the main net are being processed on this chain. After the merge, all transaction history from the original mainnet will be retained on the new version of Ethereum. But when will this upgrade take place? There's no exact dates announced yet, but the team is conducting testnet merges to prepare for the big mainnet merge. So far, they successfully merged the oldest proof of work testnet on the Ethereum network called Ropston with the beacon chain. And they plan to do another beacon chain merge with an Ethereum testnet called Sepolia. The merger is expected to take place on July 6th. These testnet merges will provide important data regarding what to expect with the big mainnet merge. There's one more merge planned for the go early testnet before the mainnet merge. However, no date has been given for this yet. But with the success of one testnet merge and another one coming up, we're closer than ever to the long awaited Ethereum 2.0 update. So what are my final thoughts on Ethereum? I'm personally looking forward to these upcoming merge events to get some insight on how the mainnet merge will go. The timeline has definitely been pushed back multiple times, but I believe this gives them more time to get things right. And it will be interesting to see how things plan out in a bear market. And in terms of my own portfolio, I'm slowly adding Ethereum using the dollar cost averaging strategy. I'll continue to increase my position through these market conditions with the aim of averaging out my buying cost. And my reason for investing in Ethereum at this time is because of the long-term potential for the project ecosystem. Not only is this the second biggest crypto on the market, but it's about to improve in many ways. Migration to a proof of stake consensus mechanism is one big step towards addressing the concern of high energy consumption and environmental impact on crypto. And that's all folks. If you have any of your own personal strategies that you plan to follow during this bear market, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what everyone in the community is up to as we continue to sail through this bear market. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Remember the world of crypto involves high risk and uncertainty, especially during a market like this. None of what I say is financial advice. I highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.